Okay, in the final step for this week, we're going to drop the ball, do a collision detection on the bucket, and add an actual number to the score. We've added a new variable, score, which is a number type. I've added a random number generator with the pickup, so my rand equals math.floor, math.random. This is your maximum three, the minimum is zero, so it will go between three and zero. Actually, I want this to be, let's make it between three and negative three, so it should be able to go either left or right, maximum amount, minimum amount. Um, drop hasn't changed. Sticky ball changes. This is all the same where it's dropping else. We're going to do a test, a hit test object, to see if the ball has hit. And I've added a hit variable, which is initially set to false, because the hit object will continue to detect as long as the ball and the bucket are touching each other. So they will continue to change the score if you only, unless you do this to make it only change the score once. So if it's bucket one, the score plus equals 10. If it's bucket two, it's 20. Bucket three is 30. Bucket four is 40. Bucket five is 50. Bucket six is 60. Let's test it. Should be able to pick up the ball. And at the bottom, it's showing you there that my um, random number is negative three. That makes it fall to the right. And again, if it's touching at all, it, could, it has a collision detection. Next week, we're going to get more precise with collision detection. We're also going to launch it instead of just dropping it. Let's try this again. It will actually let me pick it up again, but since it's already been hit once, it won't let me do a second hit test. Let's try this again. I pick it up. It's negative 2. I know it's going to fall a bit to the right. That one was detected by the 10. Try it again. I click on it. Again, I got negative 2. I wanted to give you a score of 30. I've got a trace in here so I can see what my um, how it's going to fall left or right each time. Negative 3. But it makes it a little bit more random so people who didn't see that wouldn't be able to tell. Again, next week we're going to make it a little bit more fun. Now for the homework assignment, we're supposed to do a similar game, but I want you to have three bean bags and a target, and I want you to add up the score from three instead of just one. It should be pretty easy to do from this example.